एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ 26 जून व्हाट अ डे इफ यू आर अ रिलायंस इन्वेस्टर और इफ यू आर लॉन्ग ऑन निफ्टी इट इज नॉट यूजुअल टू सी रिलायंस व्हिच इज द टॉप स्टॉक इन द इंडेक्स हिट अ 4% दैट टू इट वाज नॉट निफ्टी एक्सपायरी टुडे इट वाज बैंक निफ्टी एक्सपायरी रिलायंस वाज ड्यू टुमारो आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस यस्टरडे दिस इज अ ग्राफ ऑफ कंटीन्यूअस बाइंग थ्रू आउट द डे दिस इज अ न्यू ग्राफ आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड दिस इज द जीरो लाइन रिलायंस वाज अप 4% द मोस्ट आफ्टर दैट इट वाज एयरटेल followed by icici the stock that fell most today was hdfc bank but what is a trading day without a but despite the euphoria despite so many stocks being up fis were a net seller and there was a twist to the tail i'll talk about it in the update dis have breached their monthly limit they usually get an inflow of 20000 crore they have already bought 25600 crores we have few more days to go today's net purchase for dis was 5100 crores out of this 3500 crores was the one given by fis when reliance is up 4% nifty mimics the graph of reliance straight up most of the day towards end minor profit booking today most people actually forgot there was a bank nifty expiry that to a monthly one there was a gap up opening in the bank nifty consolidated for a bit then went up consolidated for most of the day then corrected a bit up 0.5% but this range was pretty narrow for bank nifty around 300 350 points that's nothing for bank nifty today hdfc fell up percent that eroded some of the gains in nifty however nearly everything else was up nifty was up 0.6% bank nifty 0.5% nifty it fell up bit that was mostly because tcs was up but everything else was down nifty energy picked up today also 1.41% up defense despite good news in grse continuing and despite the gains in masgaon dock which was promoted to navratna company defense was actually down a bit today because hl and bl both fell gold corrected a bit people probably are taking money out of gold and investing in equity nasdaq fell 1% yesterday silver was down bitcoin same 61000 kind of levels these are much lower than the levels we saw in the previous month inr is heading to a all time low it was just 20 paisa away from when i last checked brent cooled a bit so this is what i was talking about in the defense index hl bl both were down significantly grsc was up another 7.27% masgaon dock was up a lot earlier in the day but then it fell close just 2.7% up sectoral snapshot 19 sectors up out of 36 this is better than yesterday which was 13 most contribution obviously came from oil and gas reliance was up 4% next was bharti airtel led telecom not just bharti even vodafone picked up a lot towards the end today was the 5g today was the last date for the 5g bits the new spectrum cell there were significant purchases made by airtel and vodafone banking was next 11% but after that there was a complete lull perhaps a lack of action metals tried to pull down the sectors a bit 11% followed by automobiles and real estate but remaining market had very less action let's see if the volumes reflected that aerospace and defense the sector was down 0.3% automobiles down despite maruti being up banks hdfc was down but the next five players were up as a result the sector was up 0.4% construction and engineering up half percent led by lnt as well as rbnl today both were up 0.4.5% adani enterprises is not going anywhere it is in the 60 70% zone the power pack ntpc was up rest everyone was down the sector was down quarter percent food and tobacco tata consumer was down mariko was down but itc nestle britannia were all up patanjali was up another 2% sector was up 0.35% hotels all down insurance down investment banking mostly down siemens up abb down metals deep red the sector was down 2% different portals have different ways of calculating percentage changes reliance is showing 4% here the overall indices was up 3% real estate deep cuts 1.4% down software tcs up everyone else down nifty 50 no surprises the contribution came from reliance and bharti hdfc bank was the one pulling it down i've just sorted on market cap nothing deep red in the top 5 10 players 25 stocks up 25 down most of the down stocks were actually the ones with lower market cap except hdfc bank now volume wise low volumes were very little bpcl hdfc life and divs the high volumes also besides the lines were very little mnm ultra tech grasim indusind apollo rest all were normal average volumes 25 stocks are now in the 80 to 100% zone If you note most of the contribution was in the top 5 stocks so in nifty the bottom stocks are meaning less and less every day unless there is a big fall or big gain next 50 27 stocks down 23 up 
the lower rung stocks were down more let me sort on the change part so the stock with highest volumes godrej infoedge tabar ambuja cement these had high volumes the lagards vedanta zomato hl jindal steel tvs motors vedanta's volumes were astounding today 1348% that is 13x of average volumes i think there was a block deal there about 4 or 5% of the stock changed hands 30 stocks are now in the 80 to 100% zone just four stocks in the bottom 50% IT sector, this is yesterday's graph. There was everything green. Today, TCS was up. So was LTI mine tree, but nearly everything else was down. The volumes today were better than yesterday. Energy sector, yesterday was completely red. Today, lot better led by Reliance. NTPC also was up. What was down? Power Grid, Coal India, Adani Greens. Today was the monthly expiry for Bank Nifty. HDFC down. 0.6% rest everything up PSU also IOB was down rest everything was up volumes were good in the bank nifty they were good in the public sector also my portfolio today I bought a lot of stocks ICIC actually I bought yesterday I forgot to mention so this was yesterday today I bought Mazgaon Doc, Shiram Finance Shiram Finance has been hitting new highs every day LNT which is a heavyweight in the construction space. I averaged a little lower on certain credit. This is a small cap company that I buy a lot in for trading. I didn't sell anything today. Now I'm getting a bit heavy on the buy side. I'll have to probably book profits or slow down now. But many of them are not just trading stocks. I'm happy to hold them for one year, two year also. For example, ICICI, Mazgaon, Doc, LNT, Satin. All these stocks I can hold for many years. That's fine. I'm happy with the companies. So if the markets fall, I can convert these to my investment portfolio with these. Besides these two stocks I mentioned earlier, BEL, HL are the other defense stocks in my portfolio. GRSC has run up too much now. I wanted to buy it back, but since I sold yesterday, it has already gone up about 10-12%. So I'm a bit scared now. Some quick graphs. This is the rupee chart I was mentioning. We are nearing an all-time high now. This is ICICI Bank since the 4th of June fall. This is HDFC since the same fall. If you see clearly, ICICI is the stronger stock. Even if you compare the levels, ICICI percentage wise has gone up more than HDFC Bank. Though the graphs look similar, that is why I have invested in ICICI Bank. I've been maintaining my posture here that ICICI Bank is a lot stronger than HDFC right now. I'll probably cover this topic in a video also just before the results. But my personal conviction right now is ICICI is more investable than HDFC Bank. Today's charts, Reliance was continuously up. TCS was choppy, HDFC bank went up, consolidated, towards the end it corrected. ICICI bank continuous up, little profit booking towards the end, that was there nearly in all stocks. ATL went up continuously, little profit booking, SBI went up, down, up, consolidated, down. While TCS was up, Infosys was choppy but it ended lower. Nifty chart and Reliance chart are same. Bank Nifty is perhaps a bit closer to ICICI than HDFC. VIX was choppy down up then down continuously closed at around 14 levels. Most banks have already covered Kotak Mahindra was up then it fell a bit. Kotak Mahindra is now around 1800 levels. Axis Bank today also was nearly up whole day. Defense was a sad day for me. HL started up came down restored levels then went down continuously. BL went down continuously. Mazgaon Doc, after the news that it has been termed as a Navratna company, shot up. I bought it at 4200 levels and then it came down continuously. GRSE continuously up, consolidated, came down a bit. PDL up, down. Cochin Shipyard up, down. Data pattern started with a gap up. This is a pattern with data pattern, then came down. Metals had a hard day. Hindustan Zing down. JSW consolidated but then fell. Tata Steel down. Vedanta was up because of the block deal. Hindalco choppy but down. Jindal Steel down. Jindal Stainless was up but closed lower. NDMC down. Bharat Force down. Sale down. So metal second bad day continuously. My FNO positions today I traded very less. I was observing the market. I was trying to understand the FNO patterns. I just didn't want to fall for the increase in Nifty. I could have made money there. But with Reliance and Nifty at all time highs, it is a very dicey to stay long. Markets are due for profit booking. I don't know when it will come, but when it comes, it will be severe. So I did some quick trades, overall profit of 3,800. One thing I did was towards end of the day, I shorted reliance, but I hedged my positions. What that means is my max loss will be 20,000. Max profit would be 19,500. This is for next month, see 25th July. The idea is that both of these positions are expected to go to zero. 
this negative is actually my loss this is supposed to be reverse this value should be positive this should be negative idea is that both of these positions will approach zero towards the end of the expiry next month there's a difference in the prices so i'll make money via the difference however if reliance goes up then this difference will be negative and the difference will be max 20,000. If the difference is in my favor, it will be max 19,500. So this is the graph. This is where we are right now as the target date will approach next month. At current levels, the projected profit is 11,400. That's still 9%. Now if Nifty increases 0.5%, that is at the end of the month, then I'll have a loss of 3,700 rupees. Now I want to show you a very interesting element I am not an expert at this zone, so take it with a pinch of salt. 3000 levels, the open interest change for call options was minus 18.7 lakh, put open interest was 9.72 lakh. So there was a huge, huge short covering, but what happened was the momentum took reliance lot more beyond this point. I'll show you what I mean. The open interest graph is showing stiff resistance at 3000 levels. Our reliance is already beyond that by 20, 30 points. The support is coming at 2900. So 100 point range for reliance is what the open interest graph is showing right now as per my understanding. This gap needs to get covered. So either the open interest will shift here to 30, 40, 30, 60 levels tomorrow or reliance will come down below this level. Markets are interesting and dangerous at the same time right now. Investors don't see the risk right now because they don't see the numbers that I am seeing. The way I see it is that Nifty, Bank Nifty stocks are going up via this ladder. At some point, there is a cliff. It could be tomorrow, it could be one month, it could be six months. I don't know the event. But there will be a day when this boulder will fall down. Now, I don't know how much that fall will be. It could be 5%, it could be 10%, it could be more severe. That will depend upon the event and the macros that could be beyond India also. But these are super high levels. I don't think stocks can justify these levels with the earnings at least this quarter. We are probably one year ahead in terms of market earnings for many stocks. Some stocks will do fantastic. They are doing pretty well. Their earnings are increasing. Defense is perhaps one sector which will give fantastic results this time. That is why I am long on defense. Banks will be selective. I feel ICICI will give better results than most banks. SDFC being a holding company may benefit from the companies that it hold in terms of the valuation of those companies. However, the returns from those companies already are there in the March results. So as a holding company, HDFC won't be showing you earnings from holding companies in this quarter. Those earnings will fall. Be very stock specific, sector specific when you have expectations from the indices, from the stocks for the next quarterly results. Don't expect stocks to repeat or better March in general. This quarter is usually lower for many, many stocks. So at least see that trend for last three, four years before you take a call to go long just based upon the last quarter's results. Remember, market talks about two numbers year on year, which is June of this year versus June of previous year and quarter on quarter which is June quarter versus March quarter, which was the previous quarter. These two numbers are selectively used. At times, site publish the better of these two numbers. At times, they publish the worse of these numbers. Take it with a pinch of salt. Hope you're having a good profitable week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.